Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Looks like it's kind of starting off like it did yesterday. Kind of windy. Not real cool. What is the temperature here? Showing 50. That's actually quite nice. Look at her. She's over there. No, it's not. All right. We'll get our roll on. See some nice guys coming from back there. Sorry, gals. Your riding season's coming. They're going, but you ride them at work. <laughs> I know those are just test rides. Take you guys for different rides. I got the windows open. Kelly's in here going, I'm freezing. <laughs> what little woman? Had to hit the sprinklers uh, or the wipers a couple of times for sprinkles. Other than that, wasn't a bad ride to work. It's a hundred percent chance of rain today. Yeah. So at some point. It's gonna rain. <laughs> Probably already happened. Listen to birds. I love this time of year when you hear all the birds. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna roll on down to the Doom Jan. Alright, I'll see you at the water. Alright. We'll see you. Have a good day. You too. Alright. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Still wet out there from this morning. But you guys wanna see the first fire up of this low chassis r1200 gs adventure and i had to head on because i had it on the computer but i haven't fired it up yet last person to hear this thing run was some guy on the rolling road in berlin germany We gotta, we gotta turn on the lights, the new LED running lights that they're using. I didn't think they were any brighter until I rode mine at night once. I go, uh, never mind, they're brighter. I love that that ring go, that ring that goes around there. All right, we go upstairs see if there's some gas for it. Check this out. A little rum woman could ride a low chassis GSA. Uh -huh. She can she can tippy though. That's about all the more I'm touching on the standard chassis. Get over here. You're not gonna drop it. Just flop it over on the stand here. There you are. Now just step up. <laughs> tippy toe is fine, even if you're on one tippy toe. You just ride it, woman, ride it. All the way down. <laughs> Alrighty. This old boy must ride the wheels off of that GS. 2016 R1200 GS. He's in for a second service already with us. And it looks like it might dry out, so uh, we'll let this thing hang out in hopes that we can take her for a quick little spin. I haven't ridden a low chassis in a while. But uh, hopefully the wind keeps up and the rain stays away. We'll go for a, a quick little loop. It's actually mandatory that I ride them. So I leave them down here until I can ride it and check the sheet off. I'm not checking that sheet off and signing it without, <laughs> without actually doing it. I'm, uh, I'm a little leery of doing weird things like that. Getting close to finishing up the service on that bad mamma jamma but it's dry out there let's take the old low chassis for a rip go take it to them up upstairs when I'm done Could potentially dribble on me here 
just about any moment, doesn't it? But at the moment it's not, let's take advantage of it. A little low on that one. <clears throat> take you guys around the standard loop. So, several of you guys have pointed out that the, uh, the key fob is stuck in the nav. The nav is in the unlock mode. So the key, the fob is locked in. It can, uh, when it's in unlock mode, the key won't pull out. So I leave it there so I don't have to worry about where the key is. Leave it in my pocket and go home. Anything weird like that. Now, I do not suggest that you drive around with your fob up there. You know, you need to have it in your pocket. It's your fob for your motorcycle. You know, this is just something I do here, so I know I've got the, the key with the bike. And if the bike is left outside for pretty much any amount of time, the fob is removed for obvious reasons. We are in the big city, you know. <laughs> but no, I don't condone driving around on your own bike with that sitting there. That's just something I do for for a sake of not losing a almost $300 fob. And it takes a bit to get it too because you have to order it from Germany because it comes, you have to order it, you have to prove the bike is yours and you have to order it from uh, Germany. <laughs> Via the VIN number. So you just can't just go take the VIN number off of somebody's bike, go into a BMW shop and plop out your $290 and then drive away with the guy's bike in a couple weeks or however long it takes to get it. It ain't gonna happen because you gotta prove it's yours. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of parking lot war going on there. Yeah, that was close. I don't think that guy in the truck had a clue. Speaking of parking lot wars, let me park a little forward here. There's a lady sitting in that SUV. I don't want her to suddenly back up and not see me. I just, I mean, you guys have seen mine. You've seen other ones. This one's a low chassis. So if you can tell the difference visually, I can immediately. They just look different. That is one gorgeous bike. One thing that makes me feel really bad I look at this one and I go, oh, so that's how pretty they are when they're clean. Mine's not all pretty like that at all. In fact, you can hardly tell that the swing arm is black anymore. But, you know, if I don't obsess about cleaning it this time of year, I don't mind taking it out and getting it a little more dirty. summertime hits though she's got to be clean the only thing you get then is dust man once it hits summer here the rain stops for I don't know what is it three or four months and the place turns into a tinder box it's amazing the 180 the weather has around here Triplets on the windshield. I timed this perfect. It is really, really nice to be able to put my feet on the ground. And I rode that triple black low chassis for all that time. <laughs> and then I took the uh, rally home every time I'd come to a stop. It freaked me out. Because you're used to your feet hitting the ground at a certain time and all of a sudden, whoa, whoa, Marilyn's not there. insane motorcycles is this even got my kid trying to start somebody's mo pickle out there looks like a nice gentleman uh oh the Yamaha sitting on the floor Oh man, 
I was, I was thinking the wind just caught it. I'm thinking, oh, I could have been right halfway through the door. Oh my lord. Somebody has a Yamaha on the... BMW is amazingly strict about that. Doing some studying up there, Nick? Huh? Doing some studying up there? You know, I showed you guys that YZ250 that Ryan fixed up. Look at this RMZ250. This is his also. This kid is like dirt bike poor. favorite oil an old motor x i think it's like brand new i think it's a 2015 you guys know how motocross bikes end up they end up pretty pretty hammered pretty quick things like brand new he loves that thing he said it runs so good she's cool she's done Ryan's gonna throw some tires on it. This one uh, got the fork bushing recall done. But man, did it cut loose out here a while ago. It's calming down now. Man, it was like a wall of water coming down. I gotta go walking out in there. <laughs> gotta go upstairs and do some paperwork. Wonderful F800 GSA. I love them 800s. Well, it's the end of the day. It's 5 o'clock. Sunset is at 7.51. It'll be much sooner than that tonight. But I'm up here gather up the little woman so we can head home. Little woman, it's going to be a wet one today. I hope the traffic isn't all messed up. We'll have to fire up the old ways today. Yeah. See, we need to deep yeah. All right. Let's let's roll out. This is never a good way to start your trip. That coming. Got the old ways are going. Kelly had to run back in. She forgot to tell one of the employees something for a customer that's going to swing by here in a bit. Boy, that's some angry looking clouds out there. Just flat pouring out here. I tell you what, that was less than a pleasing drive. Look at this, we're a long ways from, from sunset. Look how dark it is out here already. That rain will do that. Well, hello there, YouTube. Somehow or another, we made it home safely. Oh, no. Man. Yucky, yucky. Oh, man. You know, it amazes me that in this crazy, I mean, just high, just standing water everywhere, still people come by texting. Okay. Fly by you. Then they'll do these just random slowdowns. You're just like, whoa, you know, what are you doing? And you see their faces and their phone. It just... It, I don't... I mean, that's like bad really bad no wonder so many people get injured and worse from um, texting it's, it's nuts i just yeah some area i don't know if it was in the uk somewhere or whatever it said that that um texting is is more than like drunk driving or whatever oh, yeah. as far as fatalities and stuff like that oh i bet crazy absolutely crazy I don't know how it's not so much worse here. I, I'm sure it's way more than I than I know. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's amazing we don't see accidents ourselves, you know. Yeah. Pretty crazy. But on a good note, mm -hmm. it was a good day. I was so busy I didn't even. Uh, the first time I looked at at the comments was at 4:30 today. Yeah. And on that, man, you guys I feel like I owe you something, <laughs> you know. It's like, yeah. what? Really? You guys can't they, be that nice. They are so sweet. Yeah, really, really cool. Right up this You guys, you guys. Yes, we love <laughs> you. Oh, man, yeah. 
Anyway, as you can hear the pounding. Oh, we discovered if we close the moonroof thing. It does make it quieter. The pounding, that's a huge difference in the sound. Yeah. Pounding straight down on that glass. And I don't know, stick my hand above there. there. Must be insulation in that, in that panel. Yeah. Never knew. <laughs> Never knew. These are little things you just don't know about. Things you just don't know. But Mama? You better roll. Yeah, it's going to be a... We'll be soaked. Yeah. I didn't even wear a coat today. Yeah, we got to get puppies wear and these puppies. Flannel. Yeah, puppies and puppies. Yeah. And I was going to show you guys that, but it's dark. Anyway, the puppies are now staying outside. It's getting yeah. to a point that Mama's not totally taking care of them. You're out. Yes, and, and she doesn't like to be in the house. No, she does not like it at all. And come, terrorizes. Yeah, we come in yesterday and she had gotten into food things and that's it. Oh, I know. All yeah. the stuff all off the bathroom counter. Yeah, and she like lost room. her mind. Yeah. And that's when she does that, that's when she's done with the puppies. Yeah. Puppies are old enough they go outside. They're big enough. Yeah, big yeah. round mill ports. Yeah, we're gonna have to show you guys those like yeah. soon. But anyway, we need to roll them off. All right. You guys take care. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Thank you. All right. All right. Ready, ready to, to tackle? This? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a wet one. Uh, it's going to be yucky. All right. Okay. All right. See All right. you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hopefully it'll be drier. Yes. <laughs> Bye-bye now.